Hey Keith, this is the uh, a video response to your second question in your email today, which was, how should I continue with the relationship advice I received? In this case, you received some advice from uh, indirectly from Mort Fertel, and Mort Fertel's theory is basically this: that you kill them with kindness, that you give your wife gifts, that you compliment them, uh, and, and etc., and that you basically woo them back with your undying love into the relationship. A couple things about that. Um, if your wife is left because you've been an insensitive jerk that's never noticed her and you've never done a, a single thing for her, you've been completely clueless and checked out of the marriage, you've never complimented her, you've never given her a gift and you're just a self-centered, arrogant jerk, you know what? Some of those things are sometimes helpful. But when a wife has said she needs space and she's considering another man, it's the absolute worst thing to do. This approach, in my opinion and experience, does not work. I've seen men try this, and what a woman does is rolls her eyes in contempt and just wants to get further away because she feels the expectation in those gifts, and she feels the expectation and pressure in the compliments, which means the, the compliments and the gifts they're not really genuine and sincere. They're not acts of love. They're manipulative. They're acts of actually, uh, you know, coercion to try to coerce her back into a relationship with her. That starts with the fundamental idea and belief that the way she feels is wrong, that the way she feels she's not justified in having. And so that, that man feels like it's his duty to change her feeling. To basically prove to her that she's wrong by proving to her that he can be better. The whole thing just reeks of neediness and manipulation and ultimately I believe it's essentially nice guy training. And so you're welcome to try that if you want. I don't think you'll be successful doing so. Now am I saying do not compliment your wife? Do not give her gifts? No, I'm not saying that at all. Uh, prior, My prior video I talked about if your wife has asked for space and or an experience of not being your wife, then don't give her compliments or gifts that you would not give any woman. To do so, again, is kind of manipulative. Um, does that mean you need to be a jerk? No, it doesn't, right? You should treat her with the same, you know, dignity, humanity, value, uh, kindness, whatever you show, you know, a, a woman that you know is an acquaintance that you run into at the gas station or grocery store. What do you do with them? Right? Do you do you praise them with compliments and give them all kinds of nice chocolates and tell them how sexy and wonderful they are, or do you just say, "Wow, I really like your outfit. Um, you know, hope you have a great day." Offer them a piece of gum, that kind of stuff. Like that's a little bit more appropriate, and it's also matching, again, what she has asked for, because what Mort Fortell says is you got to ruin their story, and the story is that you're a bad, evil ogre man. Right? Okay, that might be true. That really might be their story. But another part of their story is that the path to their happiness is to not be your wife anymore, okay? So that's a better story to let them experience in fullness. And you know what? Either they love it and they move away from you and you move on in life knowing fully well that you're a man of value, worth, and significance and you're gonna be okay. Or they find out, yeah, you know what? I'm still just as unhappy and I'm not around this man. So maybe the problem is not just the man. Maybe I have some growing up and maturity to do. I hope that's been helpful. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon.